Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday morning. It's your coach A coming at you. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. It's a little chilly out here this morning, but hey, it's beautiful. The sun is shining. I came out to get my Arcadian's clock right, looking up to the sun early. <clears throat> but anyway, I wanted to say Motivation Monday, guys. Happy Motivational Monday. Um, today, I'm going to talk about detoxing. I'm going to talk about detoxing, you know. I hope y'all can hear me because I know I got my phone down. But this is the shit people don't want to hear about. As you can see, I have been detoxing, working on this good, working on it. <clears throat> and honestly, I've been on not no flat tummy tea. I've been on ballerina tea from the old school. You know how you go to the beauty supply store and you get the ballerina tea? Yeah, the ballerina tea is about, I don't know. $3.99, $4.99, $5.99 a box. <clears throat> but anyway, that ballerina tea is the truth. That ballerina tea is the truth. That ballerina tea will go in there and clean them pipes. Scrub those pipes. Get all that junk, all that poop, all that boo-boo out of your stomach. And make your stomach go down dramatically, guys. Like, seriously. And y'all already know. I do have a problem with maintaining weight in my in my waist and on the top of my butt right there. That right there. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. My granddaughter call it the butterfly. But anyway, <clears throat> I've been on this um, ballerina tea since last Wednesday because Tuesday when I was at the gym, I had this serious spasm in my back. So I thought my back had gone out i really did like i had to actually leave the gym because it hurt so bad it went from my lower back all the way down my legs like the spasm like like something really bad happened well as y'all know i am a research geek so i did my research come to find out um i was constipated and constipated not in the way you think like i've been going to the restroom I've honestly been using the restroom, probably not like a lot, a lot, a lot, but going like normal every day, go to the restroom. But this was a different type of constipation, guys. And y'all know how much I try to be healthy. But honestly, in the, over the last few months, I haven't been healthy. I'm going to keep it real. As you all know, I, I already confessed to that. So I don't have to keep confessing to that. But anyway, nevertheless, I, I had an impacted colon. My colon was truly impacted, guys. With me doing enemas every day. I was I do enemas every day as a ritual. But this was a different type of impact. Impaction. If that's a word. Y'all know I'm not good with them words. But anyway. So it was impacted somewhere down in there. Like in my lower buttocks. Going down to your thighs. So when I did my research. I come to find out that. The, your bowels and some nerve sits on each other. Anyway, I can't get technical, y'all. I just know what I read and I know how to put, formulate it in my mind. I probably can't articulate it to you. You'll have to study and show thyself approved. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I said something in my spirit. I was going to go to the doctor. Y'all know that's a forbidden territory for me. But it got so bad, I was going to go to my um my my gynecologist because <clears throat> I kept feeling like something was in my pelvic okay but no let me tell y'all for real what I was feeling was a result of constipation so it felt like your sciatica nerve like it felt like your sciatic nerve was acting up you feel me felt like real low lower back pain maybe like you probably say it might be my kidneys you know what I'm saying but anyway it ended up being shit I was full of shit like, let's just keep it 100. Ain't no need in trying to cut the corners because we all might be going through this. I give my testimonies because I don't never know who needs to hear it. But nevertheless, <clears throat> so I started on Wednesday drinking two bags. Let me go get the tea. Hold on. Sorry, my bad. So this is the tea. I know it looks a little backwards probably on this video, but anyway, so I've been drinking <clears throat> two bags, two tea bags a day. Um, 
the first day I drunk it hot, second day I drunk it cold. It doesn't matter. And you don't have to put anything in it <clears throat> because it's just this real tea taste. And so your, your goal is to turn it up and drink it really fast. <clears throat> And make sure you drink plenty, plenty of water. Remember, I got that um, gallon jug that I ordered online. So, I'm pushing that down daily. So, this tea is a miracle worker. But let me tell you what it also is. It's a stomach cramper. It will cramp the shit out of your stomach. Your stomach will hurt so bad. Oh, right now I got on a back brace, y'all. Because remember, I told you my back. <clears throat> So, I'm still cleansing myself, even to this point. <clears throat> Let me tell you this. And if you like this, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm sorry, but I have to be transparent. You know, once you get yourself totally cleansed out, your stool should become watery. That's how you know when to stop a cleaner, because your stool become watery. I've been on this since last Wednesday. Not watery yet. Close, but not watery yet. Okay? Now, this stuff make your stomach cramp. So bad. I'm telling you, you're going to be like that. <laughs> because it really hurts. But here's the key. This is for men and women. And you will see that bloating in that stomach go down. Look at me now. I'm proof. Y'all know I don't care what I put on. And this right here, honestly, this is just an ice pack. It's just an ice pack. Oh, don't look at my holy pants. Oh, no. So, that let y'all know I'm human, and I'm just like y'all. I might even have on some holy draws. So, let me tell you something. Stop walking around here, act like y'all, bougie and y'all, all that, because it is what it is. And that's it. But anyway, back to the point. You want to get this at all costs. And like I said, I'm on my, today will be my sixth day. I've been on it five days. Last Wednesday. Today is Monday. So... I'm going to drink another cup tonight. I only drink one cup a day, but with two tea bags. I'm going to drink another cup tonight. I recommend you take it at nighttime so that it can work while you're asleep. And it's going to wake you up in the morning. It's going to be your alarm clock to get your ass up and go purge. Um, don't take it in the morning in the daytime unless you plan on going nowhere that whole day. Because I'm telling you, this right here is the one you're not going to be able to hold till you get to a restroom. Not going to happen. I'm just keeping it real. Not going to happen. How you stop the cramps is you got to keep pouring the water down your system. Drinking the water. Drinking the water. Drinking the water. That helps the cramps. But they still will be there. So, again, I want y'all to focus on detoxing. Detoxing is a very important part of healthy living. Self-care. That's something we have not been told a lot about you feel me with people tell us how to diet how many meals a day to eat how many hours to work out you know what exercises we should do but somehow people fail to leave out we need to detox and make room in our system so things can flow easily because think about this if your toilets if your if your toilets are backed up full of grease if you pour grease down your toilet every day what you think gonna happen Okay, and once that happens, how do you think you're supposed to clean that? That's the same thing with our, our bowels. Our colon, bowels, intestines are all our sewer pipes. These are our, this is where we expel all the bullshit we eat. And after years and years of grease and clog and clogging it up, it stopped up. Like, you still could be using the restroom and still be backed up. I'm telling you, I'm a living witness as I sit here today. Because I'm thinking I'm just all this Miss Healthy, do the animals, eating the vegetables. <clears throat> See, it wasn't about that. It was about years and years of backup. I'm 55. I ain't start trying to be healthy to 50, what, 51, 50, whatever. Five years ago, whatever, four, whatever. But anyway, nevertheless, four or five, it might have been less than that, 2019. Anyway, whatever. I can't do them numbers right now. Come trying to get this point across to y'all. Regard, No matter what, though, but you got other, you got years and years of shit inside of you. Years and years of it. So my suggestion is go get this, cleanse your body, track your progress, your start date throughout your period of time. Make sure you drink plenty of water because you'll be dehydrated. And get back at me and let me know what happens for you. Talk to me, let me know. Let's let's all let's all bridge this community where we are trying to get healthy. You know what I'm saying? Even if we don't perfect it, at least we try. It's your coach. Hey, have a great day. Love you guys. Monday motivation.